What's up guys, my name is Mark Steiner, and today we're unboxing the Apple Watch Series 6. My first ever Apple Watch! Ooh. So we have the watch right here and the band. charging cable. This is actually the first Apple Watch that does not come with a charging brick, but it does come with the cable. Kind of important. And then, here we go. Not my finest unboxing ever, but it got the job done. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, first impressions. I'm loving this one loop wristband. It reminds me of these kind of wristbands, which I absolutely love that I've worn for years, and I really, really like it. I like that it's just conformed to my hand. I would recommend that if you're between sizes, you go for the smaller size, because over time this is going to stretch out and you don't want a loose size that's just gonna flop around your wrist like these wristbands do. You want something that's going to stay there like a normal, watch wristband and that's kind of important when you're using this as a daily driver and everything. So this is my first ever Apple Watch and I'm actually really excited about this because I've always wanted one but I also didn't want to waste money on one that didn't have the features I wanted and I feel like with the Series 5 and Series 6 it's finally at a point where it's a functional smartwatch that I would actually enjoy because one of the biggest things for me is that when I went for a run, I wanted to have, be able to have fitness tracking, GPS, listen to music, and not bring my phone with me. And now, with the Series 5 and Series 6, we're there. So I think this is the time to buy one if you've been in the market but you've been holding off. So first impressions of the Apple Watch Series 6. As I said, this is my first ever Apple Watch, so I don't really have a baseline to compare it to like other reviewers. But I really like this, it's super cool, the screen is bright, it's colorful, it's very very nice, I really like it. The crown, so far not using it that much, but I do kind of prefer it when doing longer scrolling as opposed to actually touching the screen. I do like the customizability you have in the iPhone watch app, which is really cool. So I already set my custom watch face, which is pretty cool, I like that. And then I was testing out during the setup, which was actually a pretty flawless setup, but also a lot longer than I was thinking for a watch setup. It went through a lot of things and helped set up everything I'd ever need. And then while I was just messing around with the watch, I did my blood oxygen levels, I did my EKG, which was really cool, 
And uh, spoiler alert, I'm super healthy and got 100% on the blood oxygen level test, so that's cool. Yeah, this is going to be a really fun device for me to learn how to use and everyday life, especially for the reviews I'm going to be doing. I feel like most of the, the cool health features I'm not going to be using on a daily basis. If ever, they'll kind of just be on in the background helping me if I'm ever out of shape or something terrible happens. Uh, so that's kind of cool that it just tracks that kind of stuff for me in the background. But you know, I'm not gonna be taking a blood oxygen test twice a day, you know? Like that's not a feature that blows my mind. <laughs> so right off the bat, I can already tell you I really like having notifications on my wrist. It means that I don't need to pull out my phone for every single vibration that I feel in my pocket. It just kind of eliminates all the garbage that I don't need to be seeing. And if something is important, then I can bust out my phone, which I really like. And then I already know that I'm going to be definitely using this on runs without my phone. And I'm going to be using this for maps and GPS. So that makes my life so much easier, not having to have my phone in my pocket looking around like a madman when I don't know where I'm going, I can just glance at my wrist and know where I'm going. So it's a much more inconspicuous way to get around town, which I really like. Another feature I'm excited about is the Apple Pay feature that I can now just use my watch as Apple Pay instead of having to have my phone out, which is really nice. And a feature that my dad is actually really excited about is the VO2 Max test. And I was scrolling through the watch and I was like, I don't know where this VO2 max test is. I can't find it. I did the blood oxygen test. I did the EKG. There doesn't seem to be a VO2 max setting, but upon further inspection, it turns out what you do need to do is actually start a workout, an intense workout. And when the watch notices that you're actually doing a workout, it'll start just having that data on in the background. And once the workout is done and it compresses that data and analyzes it, then it'll show up on your phone, your VO2 max test. So that's pretty cool. I also already know that I'm going to be very excited to just change songs on my wrist instead of having to pull out my phone every time. So for me, the watch is just a nice convenience, but I am going to be doing a full review in the coming days and weeks. So be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested in that. What I can tell you on top of that is that I really do like the black. This wristband is just awesome. I really like the solo loop. It's cool, because I wasn't a huge fan of the other ones. I felt like they were bulky, but this is like sporty and sleek, and I like that, and that fits my style a lot better. So that's just me. But I wanna know what you guys think. Are you guys excited about the Series 6 watch? Are you going to be upgrading from your current watch? Is this your first watch? Are you considering? Let me know in the comment section down below. I always love to hear what you guys think. My name is Mark Steiner, and I'll see you next time.